what you telling me see me i'm with the gang lazima hustle hello guys how have you been i hope that you're all doing fine first of all i know we're in the second month of the new year 2021 but i'd still like to wish each one of you a happy new year so happy new year guys and for those of you whose 2021 has just started happy new year i wish you a year filled with love happiness success and prosperity may all the dreams that you have for this year come true welcome to another episode of the just a kick it is a blessing podcast with your host Keith Tupa Gatiramu well today today's episode is titled losing is part of life and before i continue i know there are some things you may agree with me i know there are other things you may disagree with however i want you to listen to this episode with an open mind i hope that you enjoy it but most importantly i hope that you learn a thing or two from it so before we get started i want you to sit down and reflect on the first two questions that i have to ask so number 1 what do you think about losing and number 2 do you think that losing is a bad thing i hope you've had the chance to pause the podcast and reflect on those two questions so let's get right at it so from an extremely young age we have kind of been taught that losing is a bad thing the world or let's just say society in a whole has created this notion that losing is a bad thing and to be fair no one likes losing i don't think that there's anyone out there that likes losing and if you enjoy losing please reach out to me and explain to me why you enjoy losing losing is painful so let me tell you a story guys back when i was in jaffries i was you know i was the key guy in the football team you know and i don't mean to brag or anything but they know me out there but anyways so i was really passionate about football and every time we played a game against another school and we ended up losing i would cry i know that's an embarrassing thing to admit but this podcast is about honesty and i want to be as honest as i can be i would cry either on the way back to school if the game was played in another school or on the way back home if the game was played at our school but let me tell you the days we would win i was probably the happiest person in the world at that particular moment well for me until last year i looked at losing as a bad thing especially when you're a a student and a sportsman you hate losing you believe there's a solution to everything and you believe that the one time you do something you should get it right but i've come to realize that that's not the case and because i hated losing every time i lost it ended up affecting me one way or another however the first few months of last year 2020 i spent them i spent them in nyanyuki basically doing a project for my dad and because where i was working was slightly isolated from everything else i had a lot of time to myself and i had a lot of time to reflect on a lot of things so i basically started looking more into the topic of losing because that was something that really affected me and the more i looked into it the more i listened to other people speak about it i began to realize that losing is not such a bad thing but losing is part of life and i'm 100% certain that everyone listening to this podcast not even just everyone listening to this podcast but everyone in the world has at least at one time felt like a loser and to be honest i hate to be the bearer of bad news but no matter how good you are your educational background your social status your financial status 
or whatever it is you think you have, you will experience loss one way or another. Whether you intend for it to happen or not, you will lose. I am sure by now some of you are thinking, what a negative topic this is. Like, why Tupac? Why would you talk about something so negative? But relax, it's far from that. The topic is here to change your perspective on losing and how you can harness the amazing power that losing has. When you think about it, what's the first thing in your life you remember losing? I'm sure we all remember different things. However, for me, when I look back at it, I think the first thing I remember losing as a child was probably a tooth. And I'm sure that everyone in the world has lost a tooth before. When I look back to the moment that I lost my tooth, not only was it physically painful, but it was emotionally painful as well because everyone was cracking jokes about it and calling me Mapengo and all sort of names. But as much as I was upset about the fact that I had lost a tooth, it was something that had to happen. Whether I wanted it or not, whether I liked it or not, it was something that needed to happen. However, when I lost my tooth, I placed the tooth under my pillow and boom, when I woke up the next morning, the tooth was gone, but I had received some money. Just like my parents had told me the previous night that the tooth fairy would pay me a visit and replace the tooth with money. That was exactly what happened. Now, let me tell you, do you see that whole tooth experience? Now that's what happens in life. Despite how much someone else tells us that you have something you stand to gain from this loss, we tend not to believe it. But if you look at it, there's something you always tend to gain from losing, just like the tooth scenario above. So let's go back to the scenario of losing a tooth. Think about what happened to the second or third time you lost one. You are no longer affected by it as much as you were the first time. And so I asked myself, why? Well, I think the reason that we were not, or I was not affected by it as much as I was affected by it the first time was because I knew that as soon as I placed that tooth under my pillow, the tooth fairy would pay me a visit as I slept and I would receive some money. For some of us, it got to a point where we would check daily if any tooth was shaking so we could instantly remove it and get some money. To make it even worse, we were so disappointed to find out that we didn't or we were not going to have to lose all our teeth. So that meant we lost money. But just like losing a tooth, there's a bright side to everything that you lose in life. I'm sure some of you are wondering, how can he compare losing a tooth to losing a loved one or losing a job or losing a car or losing something that has so much more value? And to be honest, I don't mean to offend anyone or hurt anyone, but as much as the two may seem so different, they are more similar than you think. In every situation or in every losing situation, there's something you as a person stand to gain. I know it's very hard and in some situations it may not be that simple. However, when you lose someone or something, you need to think about the particular lesson that whole situation is trying to teach you. So let me tell you guys another story. So a few years back, I lost a really good friend of mine. To be honest, I wouldn't even call him a friend. I'd call him a brother. And for so long, for literally so long, I think even until today, I struggled with coming to terms with the situation. 
And to be honest, there were days I would find myself thinking about him and automatically tears would run down my face. For so, so long, I asked God, why? Why God? Why would you take away someone so amazing? Why would you take one of the most amazing people I knew? But the problem with that was because for so long, I asked God the wrong questions. I pondered on asking the wrong questions. I never got the right answers. And I'll give you an example of how asking the wrong questions works. So think of it like this. You're driving with a group of friends to Mombasa, but you keep asking for directions to Naivasha. Do you think you'll ever get to Mombasa? I know I'm 100% certain. The answer is no. Firstly, you will get lost. Secondly, you will never reach your intended destination. Firstly, you will get lost. And secondly, you will never reach your intended destination. At the start of last year, I started asking or I started doing some inward searching. I started doing some inward thinking and I began asking myself some really, really hard questions. Yes, hard questions. You know the kind of questions people are afraid to ask themselves? Yes, those are the kind of questions I started asking myself. After pondering on some of those questions for a while, I feel like I was able to get the answers to some of them. Or I feel like I'm in a much better position now than I was then. When I look at the situation where I lost a friend, I believe that what happened was there to teach the people around him a lesson. Number one, mental health was something that had become so prevalent in society, but people did not have the courage to address it, especially in Africa, where people believe that mental illness is related to being possessed or something of that sort. Number two, happiness outside does not mean happiness inside. Some of the happiest people on the outside are the ones that are really crying and suffering on the inside. Number three, learn to see what your friends are not telling you. A large percentage of communication is nonverbal. Therefore, when you talk to your friends, look for those clues. There's something that their words are not saying, but everything around them is saying. And lastly, peace is important. Do not let anything mess with your peace, whether it's a job, whether it's an education, whatever it is, a spouse, a girlfriend, whatever it is, your peace is the most important thing in your life. Anyways, for me, those were my lessons. And that whole situation inspired me to start this podcast. I don't think without it, there would be the just to kick it is a blessing podcast. Other people learned different lessons and that inspired them to start different things or do different things or become a whole different person. For my friend, his parents also started an organization which addresses issues on mental health. And the organization, when I look at it, has had a massive impact on the mental health within this country. Now that you've seen a different perspective to losing, think about something or someone you've lost. Do you feel like the whole situation has taught you something? If not, I want you to take a few minutes, not okay, not a few minutes, the next time you have some free time to yourself, I want you to sit down, put your phone away, put anything away and just sit down and think what was I meant to learn from this whole situation and trust me eventually you will get an answer think about it even that time when an ex broke your heart what did that whole situation teach you 
maybe it taught you the kind of person you would like to be with or the kind of person you wouldn't want to be with at all so to the last story of the day so basically last year i had a thing with this girl she was definitely an amazing girl and i liked the fact that she challenged me a lot you know for me personally one of the most attractive things in a girl is when she challenges me to grow in all aspects of my life but basically one day this girl and i had a fight and the argument was based on a lot of things i struggled with my past relationships but that's a story for another day anyways the next morning she woke up okay i woke up and i found a text saying you know what i don't think i can do this anymore and boom just like that our brother was left man well yeah but i'll be honest with you guys it never hurt man <laughs> okay i'm joking i'm joking it actually really hurt eventually though i sat back one day and asked myself what was this whole experience there to teach me and that's when i got my aha moment that's when i got my answer personally the whole experience was there to teach me that i'm still capable of love if you asked me at the start of last year would i want to be in a relationship the answer was no and if you ask anyone close to me they tell you ah nah never ever that guy eh, his heart was broken he just wants to be on his ones but then like you know this girl you know she came into my life and she showed me otherwise you know she showed me that i am an emotional being i need to stop running away from that and that i actually do like that you know that whole lovey dovey feeling thing you know anyways that's the end of the story but at the end of the day the one thing i want you to remember there's nothing like a loss there's only a lesson and that's the kind of positivity i want you guys to have going into 2021 there's a lot of things you might lose you might lose your job you might lose a football game or a sports game you might lose a loved one you might lose a lot of things but i want you to go in there thinking what was this meant to teach me and have a positive mindset towards it anyways guys we have come to the end of this episode for those who have gotten this far i want to thank you so much for listening i really appreciate it i hope that you have enjoyed this episode but most importantly i hope that you have learned a thing or two have a good day and have a great week ahead of you goodbye and god bless you Chasing me, but do I'm still dead?